Hello and welcome to this week's CCA Roundup. It's been a fantastic couple of weeks since we returned from Easter. Lots going on um, and it's been a really positive to see students back in lessons, engaging with all the opportunities that are before them. We started off with Culture Week and it was brilliant to see the Diana Ambassadors running Culture Week for all year groups. They had assemblies taking place, there was different opportunities for students to join in a, a wide range of activities to look at the different cultures. We particularly focused on Syria and Turkey and raising money for those families who are most in need following the horrendous earthquake that took place in the country. And on Friday, we had wear whatever shoes you want to school day. And that was a focus around ensuring that students were in uniform, but wearing different shoes and raising money. And this links to that sad image that we often have when there are earthquakes or there are disasters and you just see shoes lying where sadly people used to walk and people used to live. So the students really captured that and they wanted to raise money and they did it absolutely brilliantly. So well done to all the staff and students that took part. Carrying on the theme of fundraising, I really want to promote the peer-to-peer -peer walk that a lot of staff and students are doing um, next week. And this is a really positive way of raising money for our local charities. And we are particularly at CCA supporting the St Helena Hospice uh, and raising money for all the great work that they do around palliative care that sadly our students and staff uh, have had strong relationships with. So the peer-to-peer -peer is taking place. If you can get down there and support or um, want to give some money towards that charity, then that would be absolutely brilliant. Last week, we also had our careers fair and it was brilliant to see over 40 local and, na and national businesses into CCA to work with our students. It was brilliant to see the engaging conversations, uh, students having a real focus on what they're gonna be doing in five, 10 and 15 years time. What are those jobs? What are those opportunities that are gonna be open to them? And a massive thank you uh, from me to the staff who put on that week but also to the local businesses and the national businesses that gave up time to come into CCA and talk to our students. I know they really valued it and the feedback from those companies was absolutely brilliant. So well done to everybody, a really fantastic careers fair. This week we have Maths Week and the focus has been on 50 students who we are really working hard with to ensure they get their maths grade four and above GCSE. So it's been fantastic to have a real focus on a small group of students. We've had support from all across the AET network. We've had teachers and leaders from other schools coming in to work with our students. And it's been absolutely brilliant to see the students engaging and really focusing um, on a specific subject as they work towards their final preparations for their GCSE um, exams that are coming up. It's parents and students, I'd recommend you go to the CCA website, go onto the year 11 page and all the details are there about the exams, the intervention sessions, the preparation, and all that you can do to support yourself and to support your sons and daughter if they are in year 11. We've also had our BTEC Performing Arts exams. Uh, they've taken place in performing arts, in music, and in sport this week. And I know those students have done extremely well, so well done to you. When we return after the bank holiday, we have our Coastal Athletics Tournament. This is a fantastic opportunity for students at CCA to compete in a wide range of track and field, again, field events against local schools uh, and do their absolute best. So we wish those students taking part and training for that athletics tournament the absolute very best. Okay, let's go on to our positives and our shout out. Last week we had 9,728 positive points. Well done to Year 8 uh, who raised the most positive points with over 3,000. So that's fantastic to year eight, really, really well done. And to our shout out, first up to Miss Middleditch, who wants to say well done to Amelie Ronald for being involved in Culture Week. The way she focused on supporting uh, other students, providing cakes for the bake sale, and Olivia Glab for her constant caring and supportive nature as a friend. So well done to you two, well done for the fantastic baking and the amazing bake sale. That was absolutely brilliant. Next up is Miss Buck. She wants to say well done to Riley Bontitude for consistently getting it right and getting over 10 positives in one day. That's two every lesson, Riley, so well done. And then to Jake Baker for being consistently positive, polite, and doing extremely well in form this week. So well done to both of you. Next shout out is from Miss Thurston. She wants to do a big shout out to George Parry for his kindness, his politeness, the way he's uh, worked with staff and other students. So well done to you, George. 
And then the other shout out for Miss Thurston is to Ayamid for settling in well and improving their punctuality. Punctuality, so well done to you two students. Next up, Miss Parsons. She wants to say well done to Ruby Hardiman, Billy Lloyd, who have no negatives since September. Well done to the both of you. And I know there is a wide group of students who have no negatives, lots of positives, and you're doing fantastically well in all of your lessons. So well done to all of you too. Well, we have another bank holiday weekend. Um, we're approaching the start next week of our GCSE exams for our year 11s. We're approaching the start of our A-level and level three exams for our year 13. It's a really important time of the year. And I just wanna take this time to wish all of those students studying so hard for their exams, every success, and uh, we're right behind you. Keep on going, and we know you're gonna do absolutely brilliant. And to everyone else, enjoy the bank holiday weekend, and I will see you next week. Thank you.